Hi, my name is Jeremy Gilbert, and I've been making things since I was pretty young. Electronics should be something that everyone can feel they can understand and build for themselves. And we live in this world of incredible access to tutorials and kits and components, but the learning curve is still way too high. We still haven't made electronics as simple and as modular as Legos, and I'm worried we're going to let down the next generation of makers. Let me give you an example. My daughter Isabella loves rocket ships, and one day we decided to build her a countdown timer for her big red rocket ship. It was easy enough to get everything together on a breadboard, but a breadboard is a pain in the ass. It's hard to share, it falls apart, and she couldn't even get it to fit on her rocket ship. As a maker, I see that two things are really important if you want someone to be inspired. You have to give them payoff for the work that they put in to make something happen, but you also have to let them take it with them into their daily lives. You have to let them share it. It has to be something they can bring beyond the lab or the electronics workbench. The other thing is, you know, hardware is fun, but it's just crazy complex. Look at all the things you have to know in order to make a project that you can take with you. You know, fine pitch wiring and level shifting, I squared C, SPI, battery charging. When I look at all these toys and things that I've built over the years, I just feel like we're doing something wrong. You know, today's makers, they're going to grow up on iPhones and Minecraft. They're going to expect things in their world to be simple and clean and well organized. Hardware isn't like that. So how do we make sure that new makers stay inspired? MakerNet is my submission to the 2017 Hackaday Prize. This is an open source hardware and software project. My goal is to make electronics feel a modular, robust, and something that you can easily assemble in any way that you want. Now behind the scenes, each peripheral is controlled by a $1 ARM processor that puts it on a shared network bus. And the order that you put things in and the addresses are all relevant to you. Everything is available to you through a very simple and clean object-oriented syntax. To demonstrate the idea, I've prototyped a half dozen little components. I want to find out how much this idea resonates with other people. I want someone to be able to easily assemble the kinds of cool projects that they want to build. I want them to be inspired by that. I don't want them to worry about the details. Later, when they're ready, they can look at every line of source code and look through all the schematics. So please help me. If you find this idea inspiring, if you want to see this work continue, please drop by my Hackaday.io page and get involved. Thanks.